guys. It is currently 11.13 p.m. And I have for some reason decided to make a video on the most corporate Democrat currently running for president. I'm not going to do it any chit-chat, although I usually, I usually do. I'm going to get right to the answer. So, we all know that corporate Democrats are not liked anymore. The terms corporate those terms corporate democrats um and centrist democrats uh are used a lot negatively um as well as the word 90s democrat which is like basically like joe biden like joe biden like they they kind of act like they're not here today so when you add all three of those words together corporate centrist and 90s democrat that equals you get like pelosi you get like extremist, um, all left out of touch. Wait, all left? No, just all out of touch. That should be its own category. Interesting. So, you might have expected, I don't know, Joe Biden maybe to be the most corporate guy. Um, I mean, who knows, right? But it's actually John Delaney. And I don't think many of you guys know who he is, but he was the first Democrat to run originally. Um, he is a representative from the state of Maryland. And so... He has actually raised... Now, he's one of those people polling at, like, his 1% on average, so he's one of the lowest candidates. But he's... He has raised more money than... and He has raised more money than anybody else. A total of $26 million. Sheesh, right? Something that has to be off with that, right? Because how could you raise $26 million but only be polling 1%? Here's why. So, he's pulling... He has... He's raised more money than anybody else except for... Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Pete Buttigieg. So, John Delaney, he's a corporate, right? Corporate Democrat, uh, as well as a kind of centrist. But, he, although he has raised $26 million, <laughs> here's the crazy part. Out of the $26 million that he has raised, only 0.3% of that has been from actual people, not corporations. So, how do you raise $26 million and only roughly 0.3% of it is from actual people? That's insane. At that point, you don't even care about, about, like, I don't, I think at that point, you've got to realize that, like, pe that they've, that people have changed these days. They don't like corporate Democrats, but, like, even then, I think he realizes that, but he's just like, oh, whatever, I'm a business guy, I don't care, I'm gonna raise so much. So, but, when you have over half your money already that's um, from corporate PACs, I mean, that's already bad, right? But to have virtually, what, what, what would it be? 99.6%? No. No, sorry, I, I'm not thinking straight right now, it's 11. But to have only 0.3%, I, I, mean, I, I did the math, and it's not exactly 0.3%, but it's around there. Um, it's a bit, I rounded it a bit up, so it's probably more like 0.28%, but, so yeah, he has, he's raised $26 million, and two, and like, almost 2 million of that, I'm looking at the chart right now, almost 2 million of that is from the actual people, so 2 million out of 26 million, um, although it's not exactly that, it might be, I don't know, um, 26 million, 600,000, and 90, Six hundred, you know, ninety-three thousand or something, but you know what I mean. Uh, two th two out of twenty-six million is basically zero point four percent of twenty-six million. So I use Google Calculator for that. But he's also clearly not doing well. I mean, he has he's basically lost thirty-five million dollars. I'm just adding it up right now because he spent eighteen million dollars, right? So that's out. That's out. But he also has, well, yeah, 18 million, but it's basically 18 million, 900,000. So you may as well say, and it's what, this chart was made on June the 30th, so maybe it's gone up a bit. Let's ju let's just say, um, let's just say that it's 19 million that he spent, right? And then his total debt is like 16 million. So 18 million plus 16 million equals 35 million. So, that's not good. 
because that means that more of his money has been either spent or is in debt than he actually has left. So he spent the majority of his money the majority of his money already. It's already been spent. But of the money that he has left, it's all in debt. Plus much more money that is in debt that he doesn't even own. So um he spent so much money he spent so much damn money to the point where um he's more he has more money in debt than he actually currently has left. Like it's much more. So like it's not just like okay um, I'll, do, I'll just withdraw all the money I currently still have left. I'll just pay it to pay off the debt. No, because you're gonna still have, you're gonna have to raise. You're gonna have to um, over time pay even more money because I don't, that's crazy, right? Ima- imagine spending so much money to the point where you have more money in debt than you actually have that have survived. It's it's covered in debt debtness, as, as I call it. So. He's probably gonna withdraw soon after that. After um, what's his name? Okay. I mean, I don't know his name. Is this someone known? But he's a guy I made a video of last, like yesterday or something. Um, and on my phone it takes a while to upload. So yes, it uploaded at like two a.m. Eastern time, but I will really made it at like ten p.m. or something. So, I mean, oh, there is his name, Messam. It says it right there, Messam, Wayne Messam. Um. His nickname, I, I gave his nickname, it's, uh, it's 99% unknown, that's his nickname. So, he's probably the most likely to drop out, thankfully. But next is probably John Delaney. Uh, Marion Williamson does, isn't looking too well. I think Marion Williamson, um, all, she only has roughly $68,000 that isn't, hasn't been spent or is in debt. So, at least she has some money that, you know, is safe, it isn't in debt, but it's only like 68000 so... Um, she's doomed, uh, Messam is doomed, but I don't have to discuss that, that's already known, right? Um, but, how was his name? I just made, I'm making a video about him, how can I forget? Delaney, thank you, Delaney. Um, he's definitely the second most likely to drop out, followed by that by Marion Williamson. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, and bye.